everyone, and welcome back to the Whack and Axis channel. Sorry that I have not posted in a while. I just got busy with school and sports, and I just haven't really had time to make videos and upload them. I have been doing some firewood work, as you can see, and I'll get to that later. But today's video is about the new toy that my dad bought, and it is right behind me. This is the new MS400C. This is a 67cc saw. It came with a 20 inch steel bar, but we bought a 25 inch bar for it because we wanted that longer bar. And this saw was the only one that they had at our local supply dealership that sells steel so my dad had looked at it for quite a while up there and couldn't decide so about uh probably a month after seeing it up there i can't believe nobody bought it he decided to pull the trigger and go up there and grab it so this saw is a professional grade saw um it's got your compression button right here um back here it's a little bit different than all of our other saws it's got only one mode for down and it's choked whenever it's down and how you do this is you gotta hold this safety trigger down up here hold your trigger in pull it down and let off of your gas trigger and it'll stay down for you to start it and once you start it, when you pull the trigger, it'll go back up. So it's got also all the new dampening system, all these springs in it to make it have less vibrations. And honestly, this saw probably vibrates less than my 250. And... My 250 has about 22 cc's less than this thing, which is crazy how how uh, good that dampening system is on there. So this saw has got those four bolts that you just do a half turn and it pops loose. And how you get this cap off as you pop all those loose and you got to push this your chain brake forward and then I always have a little bit of trouble with it to get it off got to push that forward just a little bit and now it's off so what is so special about this saw on the inside is it's got a magnesium piston and it's the first saw to ever have a magnesium piston in it, I think. Correct me if I'm wrong. And also, just like the 500i, it's electronically controlled carburetor. So, let me set this saw down just for a second. So that electronically controlled carburetor will adjust to any conditions that you are in, whether it be hot or cold, and it'll also adjust the fuel type. And I have heard if you buy a bark box for this saw, which we may or may not do, after about three cuts, for the first three cuts, it'll run like crap. But after about the first three cuts, it'll adjust and start running great. But how you adjust it for the winter is you take this little tab off and you see this little ridge right here on this side. It's underneath the sun. Well, you take it off and you flip it around and you put that ridge underneath the snowflake over there for winter. And of course, it's got that upgraded air filter on it. 
thing is super nice to clean, super easy to take off. So that's the inside of the saw. I'm gonna go ahead and put this cap back on here. It's a little bit tricky getting used to putting this cap back on here because none of our previous saws had these half turn screws like that and then you're ready to go so this saw um like i said came with that 20 inch bar but if you see these big rounds behind me when we went to go get this firewood these rounds were way too big to get a 20 inch bar through so that gave us just a little bit more of an excuse to get a longer bar on this thing so i'm gonna put up a clip from when we first got the saw and if you pay attention to the sound of it and how it's running you'll know that now it's more broke in and the seals have almost seated in the engine i think we got about five to six tanks of gas through it so it should pretty much be broken in um as far as our research has gone um but the first clip that i'm going to put up you can hear it kind of going back and forth between the rev limiter just kind of uh, uh, and that's when it's not seated and then i'll put a clip up of me running it the other day when it had already had about four to five tanks of gas through it and if it bogs down, that was my fault. I'm not used to running this saw with the 25 inch bar yet. So it's just me getting on it too hard and putting too much pressure on it. So, as you can tell in the second clip, it is running much cleaner and much faster, in my opinion. Um, it's not as doggy. It's not. It's more responsive whenever I was running it. I could tell it was way more responsive. And um, it just was completely different from when we first got it. All right, guys. Since I haven't uploaded a video in a long time... The wood yard has changed quite a bit. Um, as you can see, we've got all this oak in here, and there's more over there that I'll show you in a minute. But I think I, the, since the last time you guys have been in here, these four totes down here were not there. Um, so those were added. Um, I got some hickory, some pine, a pine walnut and ash mix and then i got a hackberry oak and pecan mix in that one i filled this tote with pine back here <clears throat> i filled this tote <clears throat> oh man sorry something in my throat I filled this tote with walnut, um, walnut and I think it's just walnut. <clears throat> I 
And then this one is maple in the back and walnut in the front. I started filling this one with oak from the oak that we split, but I've got to fill it the rest of the way and I got to get this tote and this tote down here cut out. <clears throat> and we made a little cookie pile. And as you can see, the, the ground has been covered in noodles from me. I like to spread the noodles around after I'm done noodling all those rounds. It kind of soaks up the wetness in the dirt, makes it less dusty sometimes. So we've got all this split over here. And this is all the tops of the tree, basically. So I think all in all, this tree is going to give us about almost two cords in wood, which is crazy. This log was huge. Um, you, the divot it put in the ground was like two feet deep whenever it hit. So it was it was big. And the guy said that we were cutting it up for said when he was in his house, he felt it hit the ground and it shook the house. So it was it was a big tree. So one last thing about the saw, I'm just going to start it up and let it run for you guys so you can hear it idling. Like I said, hit the safety trigger, pull your actual trigger in all the way down, let your gas trigger off. And with this saw, I honestly can't really tell a difference between using the compression and not using the compression i don't know if it's just because this it's not like a 660 or a 462 that's a little bit bigger and has more compression but uh i still use it i don't know it's there might as well use it <laughs> 